Paint a portrait in oils. Learning how to paint a portrait isn't easy, but there are some steps you can follow to help you on your way. In this tutorial, I'll show you my process, from blocking in the shadows to developing the form and making each brushstroke count. Learning to draw and paint is a lifelong and fulfilling process, so learn to enjoy the journey. 01. Draw with a grid. I use a grid to create my drawing. I use pencil for the grid and when the drawing is done, I ink the important lines with a Micron Pigma pen or India ink and then erase the grid. I also like to use a warm color to start with. Bear in mind that the tint of your canvas will affect your final painting. Little patches of it will show through and add vibrancy. O2. Create an imprimatur on the canvas. The imprimatur is usually one or two pigments that are thinly painted over a toned canvas. Here I'm using raw umber and light red. This is the stage to focus on establishing the shadow shapes. Don't worry about perfect edges and brush strokes. This stage is simply about creating accurate shapes. Let the paint be a bit washy in places. The variation is interesting, and will show through and add depth. 03. Establish the color in your oil portrait. Now we begin to establish the color for the flesh. Look for middle values in the light side and avoid the highlights for now. Like Frankenstein's creation, parts are coming together, but it still looks a little monstrous. Don't panic, slow and steady work will win the day. Keep your flesh colors simple, using only two or three pigments. Keep the mud out of your colors by mixing with like temperatures. You can neutralize your colors with a gray of the same value. 04. Define the figure's forms. Now that the color and values are in place we can start to work the transitions from dark to light. Try to mix the right color rather than blending on your canvas. This will train your eye and improve your ability to mix color. Focus at this stage and aim to mix the right color with each stroke. Remember not to lose the big shapes as you refine the forms. 05. Finish with style. Don't be afraid to make artistic decisions throughout the painting process. You aren't a slave to your subject. I'll often add splashes of bright color to the background and subject in the final moments. It adds vibrancy and is a lot of fun. This painting has a green-red palette that adds a strong energy. Analogous or monochromatic palettes are useful when creating mood. Thank you for feeling our sharing. You can make a picture for yourself as a souvenir, for your friends, relatives. Or now, if you want to make a surprise gift for your dearest ones. You can give this great job to us. Please send us your most favorite photo and we will choose the best artists to convert into a work of art by hand painting. Your loved one will certainly be very happy to have this meaningful gift. Right now click on the link below the description. And enjoy! If you enjoy this video please like and subscribe for more or share to help more people. Thank you so much. I attached link below description. Access now and follow it. Thank you.